Hello everyone, today we're going to be making southern deep fried corn from Simply Sarah. She saw this in some kind of magazine a while back and she was reminded of it again. Alright, so my recipe is going to be a little bit different and I'll tell you why here shortly. So you're going to need some corn, uh, corn on the cob, make sure you wash it off really good, peel it, whatever, cut it in half. It's a little early for corn season so I wouldn't buy some corn now. A pack of four cost me four dollars which is a little ridiculous for corn right now but wait a little bit and during the summer months it should be a bit better. Anyway, get at least two corns cut in half, dried really good because there's a lot of moisture on these corns and you will probably inevitably start a grease fire with that much fucking water in it if you don't dry it off real good. You're going to need a cup of butter and we're going to melt this up. You're going to need some black pepper. You're going to need some chicken tenders. She did this for lunch. I'm doing this for dinner. And I have to spend my good boy points somehow. Uh, I mean, the Nintendo Switch, I didn't have enough for a Nintendo Switch, so I'm just going to spend, spend them on some tendies. Uh, and you're going to need some bacon, at least for mine. Now, she uses bacon salt, but I couldn't find bacon salt in the grocery store. But the idea of it is it's uh, smoked or applewood smoked bacon mixed with kosher salt. So I'm just going to do regular bacon in a pan. And then I'm going to take the grease and maybe uh, mix it with the butter. Mix it with the butter or put it on top of the corn. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is probably fry up my bacon. So we'll get this started. I'm going to fry up probably a couple pieces so I can get some grease. And everybody loves bacon anyway. Alright, so now we want to come over to the deep fryer because we want to get our chicken tenders started. These are going to take the longest. So we're over here at the deep fryer. We want to turn our deep fryer on 350. Now if you just have a uh, kettle pot pan, then that'll be fine too. Oh, looks like this deep fryer wasn't lit. I'll just use the other one. Okay. Alright, well, this one's lit. I don't feel like light in the other one. All right, so we're gonna put our chicken tenders right in the basket. There we go. Now you can use uh, vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever you feel like. I was gonna use the nice cleaner deep fryer, but fuck it now. We'll just use this one. Now these are gonna take a little bit, so we'll come back to these. Like I said, we're gonna use the bacon grease later. Now we're gonna put our butter right in the microwave. I'd probably do it. 30 seconds and check it. Now when you do deep fry this corn, just be careful. It's gonna pop quite a bit and you want this to be as dry as you can. The excess moisture in the basket, in the deep fryer itself, will uh, overflow it depending on what you use. Now she says you could probably use a, like a lidded deep fryer, but I wouldn't. I'd wanna keep my eye right on this. If you had a lidded one, I'd unlit it or use a kettle pot, or if you have an industrial one, obviously use this. And these chicken tenders are going to be just excellent. Oh yeah, bacon fat's coming out really nice. Now obviously this bacon was par-cooked. Uh, we do have, it is fresh bacon, it's not frozen. We just pre-cook some, par-cook it halfway so we can um, heat it up really quick later. And I'm going to do my bacon a little crispier. So I like it crispy. And that should give me some excess grease off of here as well. See, I'm getting some of that nice bacon grease in here. Alright, I think that's going to be good enough. Or burn it. Alright, it looks like our uh, deep fryer finally came up to temp. So I'm going to put these down. Now these are only going to go for about two minutes. You want to be real careful, they're going to pop like crazy. And you want to have a plate ready with a paper towel on top of it. I could probably let it drain in the deep fryer, but I'm going to put it on the plate with a paper towel, make it easier. They're getting nice gold. Woo! We're getting nice gold so far. So we got about another minute. Look at 
let's take a closer look at these. These look pretty good. But they're nice and brown on the top. The edges look nice. It's nice and hot. All right, so I'm gonna let these cool on the paper, on the uh, plate with the paper towel on it. And then I will come back after I get this done. All right, now that I got everything over here, I got a lid too, and I got my grease here in the back. So I'm just gonna mix this with a little bit of kosher salt. There we go. I think that was a little more salt than I wanted, but it'll be good. Take a spoon. Actually, you know what? I could mix this right in with the butter. That would be even better. It's all going in one place anyway. Alright, we're going to do this the guy way. We're going to put two of these bad boys right in here. Shake them right up. That way I know they're nice and covered. Get a paper plate. Get my tongs, take them out. And then I forgot to uh, say it in the uh, first part of the video, but you also need some fresh Parmesan cheese that we're going to grate on top of this. Oh yeah. And we're going to flip it over. Grate some more on this side. And then what you want to do so you get these nice and coated is roll it roll it right in the parm cheese that fell on the uh, plate. And then that's it. We got the chicken tenders here. Oop, actually that wasn't it. I forgot a little bit of black pepper. Just a tiny smidge on there. Same thing, roll it over. Get that black pepper all throughout. There, now that's better. Alright, so here's everything. Here's your corn, here's my chicken tenders. They're perfectly cooked for me. And I didn't burn them, obviously. Unlike that bacon over there I burned. Jesus Christ. But I don't care if this corn is. It's probably pretty good. I won't see why now. Honestly, it tastes like normal corn. I wouldn't even notice the difference. It's pretty good. I like it. A lot quicker than uh, doing it on the grill or steaming it up. It tastes just the same. It's not very crunchy. Like, it's not... Not like popcorn crunch, and my deep fryer obviously didn't bubble up as much as hers did. Yeah, but like I said, I don't have bacon, salt, so I really don't taste it. I can taste everything, the parm cheese, I put a little too much black pepper on it, the butter was nice. It's a good dish, I mean, if you want to do this a little lazy, I think this is well worth the couple minutes spent prepping this and getting it ready. Good job. Big up Sport 1022 for the video. I'm gonna cut an onion up for you. I don't know how to cut an onion up good, so I hope you like how I use it, how, how I do it. Ah, I'm already fucking up. Perfect. Oh, 
beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> he said he didn't care how to do it, so fuck it. Perfect. Just with my fingers so I could, uh, cut them up. There you go. What do you think, huh? 10 out of 10? Good for Jack? 